Hi there, Signs of Sagittarius. This is Kim here to do your next 48 hour reading. Hope everybody's doing really good. Thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing, guys. I appreciate all the support. This is for reading, general reading for the sign of Sagittarius, next 48 hours, or when this even applies to you, let's say. Okay, this is the Sacred Rebels Oracle. We're starting off with calling in your spirit guides, higher self, higher power, your angels to give us messages for your highest good. Going beyond normal, it's about what you're thinking. It's something creative, has to do with divine timing. It feels like time is almost coming, like the time is almost here, where I feel like you're going to have this idea or this epiphany about something. You're going beyond normal. So whatever you're doing, you're doing above normal. Okay, so that's how, I mean, that's how I see that. And it's like the thought, the idea itself is going to be somewhat of a light bulb moment, but this one is in gold. I mean, it's just, it's, it's like even better than a regular light bulb because it lights with gold. So, and then we see the little rope coming out of her mouth there. Yeah, it's time for a great idea to be implemented. That's what I'm really getting from that, is it's time for a great idea to be implemented. Maybe you're creating something, thinking of something. I was starting to do <clears throat> your reading earlier, and I got interrupted. I have to do it all over again. And um, the beginning, though, I will tell you, was about, it said the word wants to be written. That was another card that flew out. So I feel like the message is definitely pass on that some people need to be thinking about writing their writing skills, um, writing their truth down, journaling. I had such an interesting dream yesterday. I don't usually dream journal, but when I woke up, like I felt like it was such an important message that I had to just get up right away and write it down. So something about things being written down. Oh, it was a crazy dream, too. It was apocalyptic in nature, but guys, I think it was meaning something in my family. Like, my family, my my affairs. I think it was something like that. <laughs> but, ooh, it's a crazy dream. Okay, the Spirit Animal Oracle. I love Fox Spirit. Butterfly Spirit came out earlier. And look, and then you've got the trunks. It looks like a butterfly spirit. Fox Spirit, I absolutely love. It's about thinking quick on your feet. It's also, to me, it's like the magician of the animal world because the fox has everything it needs to get, or, you know, to do or to create what it needs to. It can manifest just like amazingly. It manifests whatever it wants and it uses what little resources it has to create something really big. So if there's something that you're wanting to do where you're like, oh, I, I don't know if I even have all the stuff I need to do this, rethink it and really ask yourself, can you do something? Not should I do something with this many resources, but can I? Ask yourself, can I? This is being really wise. Sometimes this is being sneaky, but you know, I don't think the sneaky is bad here. I think the sneaky is so that this little fox is okay. So that everything is okay. I think there's a reason to the sneakiness and I don't think it's about deceiving or anything like that, okay? So 25, whew, five fives. That was 27, by the way. That was 14. This is 25. Elephant spirit, learn from the past. Learn from your past. Just a hint, if you're thinking that you might be repeating a cycle or something keeps happening to you, then that's the time when we really need to reevaluate what happened in our past, assess what we did. And it, it is work. I mean, it's work into yourself. Assess what you've done, what you did, or who you picked and what they did, or what job you tried and what worked, what didn't. Just reanalyze so that you don't, there's something that, I feel like it might be a little detail even in this. I'm feeling like it might be a little detail that if you just assess how you've done something in the past, you're like, it's, and I'm not wanting to say you're about to make a mistake. It's not like that huge, but it's like something's going to be much easier if you just do it a little bit different because the last time you did this, you know what I mean? 
that's kind of the information I'm getting. And I'm also getting family, really big on family, especially with elephants. You know, everything that I know about elephants is that they're very, very loyal families to each other. You could probably learn a lot from the elephant spirit. All right, so this is the Sacred Signs and Symbols and the Epiphany deck, and we're going to grab a few of these for you, Sagittarius. For their next 48 hours, please, Spirit. This is a general reading, and some of these will have love on it. Just remember, love is infused in every single thing that we do. So, you know, I'm not trying to exclude anybody that's not wanting to view this from a relationship point of view. You don't have to. You can always substitute meanings. Um, <clears throat> all right. No distance will keep us apart. Family. I'm feeling family. I'm, I'm really feeling family a lot because as that elephant spirit came out and, st and, and immediately thought of the things on TV that I've seen, <laughs> education about family. Maybe there is a family member that is distant right now and it feels very hard to be apart. But as this card suggests, no distance will keep us apart. You're always truly connected anyway. And, and and believe you me, the more you think about somebody, that person being on your mind, I guarantee you they're feeling your thoughts. I guarantee you. Okay, then we have deep, dark times in isolation. I need time alone. <clears throat> I don't know. Feels like a different person or feels like maybe the person uh, needing to be distant. For some reason, maybe they're finding themselves. Maybe they're being awakened to all of the crap that was going on around them that they didn't notice because they were so immersed in the self that when they become aware of all these other things, it's like, whoa, I need some time because I need to take this crap in. This is a lot of stuff. And then look, uh, change is coming. Scissor, I about forgot. Cutting out or severing ties. Scissors. Change is gonna um, two light bulbs, big epiphany moments coming up for you. I would expect to learn something pretty valuable in the next few days uh, that will help you on your course. I I'm serious. Like, wh whatever it is, it's going to be pretty big. It's going to be a light bulb moment for you. All right get some angel number messages and then I'm going to go right into the reading. You're going beyond normal. You're spending time in isolation alone, which you might enjoy at this period. Maybe. Change is going to come. Change is going to come. And I'm even thinking when I see this on the deep dark times in isolation, I'm thinking extroverts will become introverts. I'm thinking um, everything's going to be a little bit different than what you were used to even enjoying. Like you might be an extrovert that's enjoying time by yourself. So see what I'm saying? So like, I feel like this is a time where things are going to be kind of flipped up. Or it is a time where things are flipped up. All right, 31, which is King of Swords energy, Sagittarius, we have... I am disciplined in here because he is very disciplined and in control. When I say he, she, you know that that's just the energies behind it. Um, 31 says your approach to life is a mix of practicality and imagination. Your mind is stirring with creative ideas and you have the organizational skills to manifest them to life. I am disciplined. And if you have the, man the managerial and organizational skills, then by all means do that because I can't I'm not that great at it so when somebody else is good at it you should probably use it zero there is no beginning and no end all is infinite it is time to develop your spiritual side which might be the time for isolation or time alone um, you're gaining new sight and understanding of both godly and earthly things I am limitless I am limitless and I also feel like engagement for some people or commitment Bitty. Okay, and then we're going to get, um, whoo, let me get some fairy dust cards, and then we'll go ahead and start the tarot. Fairy dust, 
fairy dust. What do I have? I have backpack. Feels like an adventure. Get your compass. Adventure is yours. Get out of the city and enjoy the outdoors. Okie dokie. This is the Modern Witch Tarot. I have been enjoying using this. I like this deck. It's a good deck. They kind of, like if you're looking for a deck where the cards come out, flip out smooth, this is definitely one of those decks. Okay. All right, so a general spread for Sagittarius. Spirit, please tell us what's the issue for Sagittarius. See how smooth they come out? I just love them. Um, two of cups in the reverse. Something about your situation screams this is not real love. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe this is real love and all it is is something is um, inhibiting you all from getting along harmoniously. So maybe you two are apart. Maybe it's something like that. Or maybe it really doesn't feel like real love. I don't know. The upright, to me, it means real love. Queen of Swords is on the bottom. Having to cut out, which doesn't feel real. Okay, the challenge. What's the challenge here? The Four of Swords. Okay, maybe not because something's not real. Maybe this is about your healing. Maybe about the healing, the time to heal. Maybe you haven't gotten over something or somebody. Maybe also with a career, there might need, there might be a need to take a little break. I'm feeling like there might need to be a, a need to take a little break so that you can regather and assess yourself. It has to do with assessing things from the past that didn't work out and then healing that stuff. So this could be anything. It really is general. It's about your new, um, your new chapter here. So this is about you hitting that finish line and getting to live and enjoy it for a while. Okay, what's at the root or the base of this? Is the eight of ones in reverse telling me that there's not much communication going on at all? This is for so many different people that I'm, I'll tell you, I'm getting one feeling of the communication being necessary to be off right now and, and somebody, you know, doing something on purpose, like healing and not communicating on purpose with a partnership then i'm getting it, it's kind of um it's like a time out a rest but it's almost like career oriented driven by career for some people so it's, it's a few different there's a few different things for some people like maybe something about the career where you can't communicate exactly that's not everybody but but it is in the broadest picture it's about not having much communication so the past energy The High Priestess. I love the High Priestess. The High Priestess is a really powerful card. Keeper of esoteric knowledge and wisdom. In your reading, I'm getting that you do trust your, that you trust your instincts pretty well. This could have been a Pisces though in your past, but, but hear me out on this. I feel like you learned how to trust your intuition and your emotions and therefore... That's why this Four of Swords is picking. Because it's like something about your intuition is telling you that this is in reverse. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like something's telling you this isn't working out the way that you're wanting it. And it's learning from the past. So use your intuition and learn from the past. Six of Swords. Because there was a situation where you didn't leave when it was going bad. Like when it, there was a storm, you just stayed and you stayed but it's like staying by compromising yourself. You really might need time out for yourself so you can think about what you really want to do. Do you want to move away from this position? Do you want to go forward? That's up to you. In the near future. Seven of Cups in reverse. Don't want to argue. For some reason, you see this as like your one and only option. I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, it's either you see this as one and only option or you're thinking really clearly right now and thus why you're not communicating. 
because you are thinking clearly this time. I don't know. Something like that. Hmm. Or the Seven of Cups could be being dead set on one option and not um, including other possibilities, just knowing that you don't want to argue anymore. So how do you feel? How do you feel about this? How does Sagittarius feel? Queen of Wands, feel like being bold, feel like being daring, taking a chance, putting yourself out out there and whatever that means to you just remember that healing time usually needs to come first um yeah you're healing something within you and you're ensuring that your future is going to be bright and positive with that um sunflower you're looking towards better days people on the outside might not know what's going on with you because it's on purpose because you're not wanting to let people know if something's kind of rocky at home you know you don't want people to know about that it's not their business, you know what I mean? Because So you put this look on for work, which is perfectly fine. It allows you to be your bold, daring self that you are. Good. Okay, um, the surrounding environment, and the surrounding environment. I'm liking this energy. I'm liking the position that it's putting you in. Nice. Six of Wands for um, your external situation. So two sixes to me always means um, evaluate, balance, and make sure your thoughts are positive. It means a few things, but mainly reassess, reassess, reassess. In your surrounding, you feel like something is going towards a victory, or maybe somebody is lifting you up for something you have done. Hmm. Maybe in some ways you have, oh, okay, so that's what's making the decision difficult. Some respects you have felt like you're winning something, and in some respects you feel like you want to leave something. There's there's a catch um, to all of this, but I don't think it's exactly what you're going after. That's what I was feeling, too, is that this one feels out of place because even though it's here, it's like... It was feeling like the momentum for you to march away, honestly. Um, time for yourself. But but now it's looking like public recognition. So this might be different stories or like split up somehow. And hopes and fears. Might be about different things. Victory and different things. You know what I mean? Seven of Wands, standing up for yourself and asserting yourself, and especially using that Queen of Wands energy. So that is your hopes or your fears. Maybe your fear might be standing up for yourself. It might be in court or maybe advocating for somebody else. What's the outcome here? It's the outcome, and then I'll go over your characters. What's the probable outcome for Sagittarius? Well... The Hierophant. I thought I saw Justice, so the Hierophant. Similar. Commitment. Commitment. For some of you, this is going to be about seeking commitment with yourself. Your higher self. Time alone. And then some of you, this is really going to be infinite. Like, cre the commitment engagement. Um, there is something that needs to be healed. Also... I can see the Six of Swords in reverse as I'm not going to leave you when the going gets tough. You know what I mean? That's kind of what I see that being for some people. But like I said, for some people, this is your soul spiritual path that you're making a commitment to. <clears throat> it's going to also be about legal work that needs to be signed or something like that. We have the Fool on the bottom. So we have all this wonderful energy of a uh, new beginning. New beginning for you. Let's get a fortune cookie and wrap up your reading. Okay, friendship is the first one. It says, a friend needs your help. Uh, your kindness and excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. And then travel. What is feeling travel? Because of that, that's why. <laughs> Maybe you're going to see somebody. Long distance communication will open up for your life. Exciting experiences for singles and career advancement for others. All right, so that's what I've got for you, Sagittarius. Thanks, guys. Send you love and light. Enjoy your day. Bye.